Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Today I get to share with you a project with the Glimmer Kit of the Month for April 2019. It's the Glimmer Plate Club and it's from Spellbinders. This is the kit here. This month it is the full alphabet and I think that's awesome. There's also ampersands and hashtags and then this one here could be even I think it's one of those little stars that are on your keyboard, but it could be used as a flower too. So you get the full alphabet. They're about three quarter inches in height. Um, this month's kit also comes with a matte silver foil, which is just stunning. It's very mellow, so it's not as bright as regular silver. So we're going to make two projects today. We're going to jump in. And um, before we get started, I did want to share with you how I store my foil swatches. Since I started the Glimmer, well, since I've been a Glimmer influencer, I've had quite a collection of Glimmer foils. And so this was the best way I found to swatch out my little foils. I just trimmed down some pieces of cardstock. And then using one of the elegant foil seals, I... Um, foil my cardstock and then I label it on top. That little circle there is a book ring. I picked up this little pack here at the dollar store. You get 10 of them. And so it works perfect. And I do that for a few of my swatches. So inexpensive way to swatch out your foils. And so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay, we're going to use some foils. I wanted to create an ombre card with foils. So I'm I know I want to use the matte silver. And I think the skylight blue here is beautiful with that matte silver. And then I wanted to find a deeper blue, and I think the teal will work out fantastic. So these, these three colors, I'm going to take the foils. And usually I just use my scissors to trim out some small strips. But for today, what I'm going to do is use my paper trimmer to cut out one inch strips and I think it turned it worked out fantastic um, so here they are and this is the order we're gonna foil on our card okay now I'm gonna take a piece of posty tape this is a one inch strip of posty tape and with the sticky side up I thought it would be a great way to line up my alphabet glimmer plates so I wanted to use the word love so I'm just going to arrange them on my posty tape evenly space them and the posty tape worked out great I didn't know what I was gonna do if it the posty tape heated up if it became too tacky or would ruin my my glimmer plates but it worked out fantastic now it kept sticking to my fingers when I tried to adjust it so I'm using my anti-static powder tool to kind of get rid of that tackiness so I can move it without it sticking so here is my Glimmer Machine, and if you're interested in the Glimmer Machine, I'll leave the unboxing at the end of the video and um, shows you a little bit more about what the Glimmer Machine is. Okay, now I have a piece of regular printer paper, and I'm going to mark, I'm going to kind of position my love where I want it on my, my paper here. Using my pencil, I'm going to mark the top and bottom. Um, I like to use printer paper when I do my foiling because it's easy for me to line up my cardstock. Since everything's kind of reversed, the printer paper is really going to help out. Now I thought this is going to help me line up the top and bottom, but I wanted them even left and right. So I'm going to trim down the right side. This way I know that that end of my posty tape will go on the end of my printer paper. I found this really helpful. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and line up my my love on the very top row. And again, the, the right side's lined up to the edge of my paper. Um, I'm going to add my foil face down. And then this is my cardstock panel, which is the same size as my printer paper. So it's three and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Now, while that's, <clears throat> you just press the timer and when it stops flashing, your glimmer plate's heated up. But I brought in my platinum sticks and my timer went off. And now I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. And I'm going to go forward and back a few times. Now I think I went, a I went a little too fast because I didn't get a very even transfer with this one. You can see it's a little splotchy. But um, I'm going to try and fix that in just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to move my love down to my next pencil mark here. Line up that edge. And then I'm going to add my skylight foil. Take my panel, place it face down, 
line it up, and then we'll build our little sandwich. First with our shim, and then our top plate. And again, we just wait for that timer to stop flashing. Once it stops, we run it through our die cut machine. And this time I'm gonna go a little bit slower, just forward and back a few times. We're going to place this back in the docking station. This way we're going to do one more foil and it stays hot. And this one worked out beautifully. Okay, we're going to lower our love to that last line. And then I'm going to take the, the teal foil, place it face down, add our cardstock, flip it over, kind of line it up, build our sandwich. And then at this point, I was looking at these negative pieces and I really liked the, the colors. I think the colors were beautiful. And I liked the way the foils looked when they were right next to each other. So I thought, well, we'll use those up and see what that does. <laughs> we're just waiting for our light to stop flashing. Okay, we're going to run this through. And again, we're going to go a little bit slower forward and back. And I think that worked out just fabulous. I love those three colors. So that's our first panel. And I wanted to fix that top love. So whenever you run <clears throat> your base platform through your die cut machine, it will leave an indentation on your printer paper down there. So it's easy for me to line back up. So I'm just taking my foil and placing it over my glimmer plates once more. Now, I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not, but I thought we'd give it a go, and it ended up working great. I think you just have to make sure that it's lined up as close as you can. I'm going to go a little bit slower through the machine this time, and we'll just line it up. And it did transfer the excess foil, which was great, and I was a lot happier with that. <laughs> okay. So we're done with our love here. Now I want to use the negative pieces. So I'm taking the matte silver and placing them on that line face down. My middle color again is skylight. And then my third color is teal. We're going to line them up right where those pencil marks are. And then we're going to add our cardstock. It's the same size. And then since we don't have glimmer plates, we need to build the shim. So I have some white pieces of cardstock. Um, it just depends on the thickness of, um, of the machine that you use, guys. So if you have a different die cutting machine, you might need a different thickness. So I just test it out. So I really like those three loves, the colors. Okay, timer stopped flashing, so we're going to run this through. And see, I tried to run it through, and, and it was too thick. It just wouldn't work, and I didn't want to force it. So I'm removing my purple cardstock there and then it ran through and it's going to be a little snug when you run it through and that's a good thing because you want that transfer. We're going to run it through forward and back just a few times. Okay <clears throat> and then we're going to lift off our paper shims and it transfers on the paper shims beautifully. Okay and then here we go. We'll just peel our plastic away and it wasn't a perfect transfer but it, there, it looks almost distressed and so I thought well I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a card with it. I think it's pretty enough to make a card with so we're going to go with it. So I'm just going to place my glimmer machine off to the side and clean up my desk a little bit so I have a little more room. Now <clears throat> I'm going to take my negative love piece here and I'm going to trim off the excess on the top and bottom and I'm also going to trim off just a little bit off the left and right just to make sure it's evenly spaced. Okay, I think that's going to be great. Now, I have another piece of white cardstock and I'm using a small flower die. This flower die is from the card kit of the month for March it's the smallest flower in that cactus die set. I cut out six flowers, seven actually, um, and then I'm going to bring in some black and white striped paper. I cut out a three quarter inch strip here. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to an A2 size card base. Place this on the right 
and I'll trim off what's hanging over and then I'm going to use some fun foam behind this panel here. Now normally when I use fun foam I use my double-sided tape but I've used glue and I'm finding I really like it because it gives you a little time to position before it's tacked down and I'm finding that works out quite well. <laughs> I'll just place this on my card base and I think that looks great and then this little U die came from this month's card kit so I just die cut out U with black cardstock. I did it four times and layered them all together just for a little bit of added dimension and I'm just going to glue that underneath my very bottom love. I wanted to decorate the center of my O's so we're going to place a white flower in each one of my centers and then to decorate those a little more, we're going to bring in some sequins. I have tons of sequins and I found some that coordinated with my foils. So starting with the darkest, we'll add a sequin there and just fill in the center of those little flowers. Okay, now I want to bring up some black. So I have some black enamel dots. I'm going to dot the center of my sequins with a small black enamel dot. If you don't have enamel dots, you could use... Um, the ebony black nouveau glitter drops I think it worked the same but here's a close-up of this card I think it turned out great now I'm gonna add a piece of fun foam behind our negative piece here I'm gonna trim it down a little bit we'll add our glue flip this around and then this is gonna go on the top portion of another A2 size card base and you can see it's not a perfect impression, but it, it kind of looks a little distressed, and I like that. Next, I used a fishtail banner die and cut out a banner and then trimmed it down into two different parts. I thought it would be fun to put the U in between the fishtails. And this fishtail banner die was from the February Glimmer of the Month Club kit. And I did the same thing with the U. I just stacked four together for a little bit of added dimension. We're going to place that right in between the fishtails. Okay, now we're going to add or do the same thing. We're just going to add our flowers and then just using a dot of glue, we'll add those same three color sequins in the center of our flowers. This one shows up a little bit more because of that foil. And then we'll add our silver here. Then using my tool in one, we'll just pick up a few of the smaller enamel dots, add them to the center of our sequins, and then that completes my second project. Super easy to do, but I really think the outcome was, was super fun. So this is a great way to line up your alphabet dies, guys. I thought I'd share that with you. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.